about to enter Gemini Manor. Hello? Oh, hello. It's me, Alex. It's, it's special head. Would you like to come in? Yes, please. I want to welcome you to Gemini Manor. My name is Alexander, and uh, this is my home. Alex here is creating a new art form by taking art that other people don't want anymore and arranging it in such a way that makes you feel like you're going into another world. What would you call this, this art form of arrangement? I call myself a CP, Creative Pack Rat. And us Creative Pack Rats work in mysterious ways. I call my place here, my home, um, organic architecture. It evolved. So what was your inspiration? How did you begin? I started finding cast off objects that nobody wanted and I thought, wow, this could be repurposed. We could do something really cool with this. And I'd hang it on a wall and then something else would appear and I'd hang that on the wall next to it. And graduate grew over the years, 45 years to be exact. Mm. How do people react when they tour this place? I love seeing people's mouths open where they don't know, yeah, have they gone down the rabbit hole or are they just outside of it? It's, it's fun for me. So I'm really excited to see this place. Come on, let me give you a quick tour. This is uh, the jacuzzi room for lack of a better word. Oh, nice. The reason being, there's a jacuzzi right there. Oh, cool. And here we enter the other half of Gemini Manor and we're entering the Renaissance room. Oh, cool. Nice. And then if we keep going backwards, we're entering the mystery bedroom. Oh, cool. This was actually my first bedroom when I was a, just a kid almost. Let me know what you think of it. Wow. It's really cool. Huh? It smells nice too. So we're outside on the roof. We're about to go into the jungle room. Come on in. So I notice each room has a theme. Sometimes the theme comes to me in unusual ways. When we started designing this room, all of a sudden these sofas, the carpets, and a lot of objects appeared that naturally made it a jungle room. Oh. So what's this room all about? It's kind of like a dining room? Well, it's more than a dining room. I actually call it my classic car dining room. I have a fondness and passion for old cars. For example, see up here, this is a 1959 Plymouth dashboard and people say, well, what's a 59 Plymouth look like? Well, here it is. Here's a 59 Plymouth right up there. Just a lot of different parts of cars because I find them fascinating. There was so much style and class. This has to be the creepiest bathroom I've ever been in. <laughs> well, I find it kind of cheerful actually because I call it the clown bathroom. Clowns are supposed to make you laugh. <laughs> Unfortunately, girls don't seem to think so. They kind yeah, of yeah. Away. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm going to the bathroom on this toilet here, and I look up, and there's this gigantic clown that looks like he's going to jump on my face. <laughs> well, here we are in your bedroom, where the magic takes place. The art of seduction, right here, gentlemen. Take a look. We're missing something. We need. Do you want to get sexy in the bed? We need a sexy girl in the bed. Here I am. Now, I noticed a lot of question marks. What's the significance of the question marks? I feel spiritually, philosophically, that people should always question everything in their world, everything in their life. And the questions sometimes, I think, are more important than the answers. I was wondering about these towers, though. What inspired you to build these? My mind works in mysterious ways. I bought a chandelier at a garage sale. I love this chandelier, but it was too big for the room. So what do you logically do when a chandelier is too big? You cut a hole in the roof and the ceiling, you build a tower over the chandelier. Help! I'm stuck up here! I don't know how to get down! Now Alex told me that there's a secret passageway through a bookshelf to the mystery bedroom. He said all I have to do is close a curtain, I found the curtain here, and my dreams will unfold behind the curtain. So, okay, let's see. Wow, I hope. Let's see, I'm gonna open this curtain and see. Whoa! 
What are some of the most interesting relics in here? Besides me? Mm -hmm. Uh, I would say that uh, a lot of little objects, little antiques, little movie props that mean a lot to me. For example, Delilah up there, my mummy. She's a recent uh, discovery, but I really like her. This is the very first space arcade game ever made. There's one just like it at the Smithsonian Institute. Mm -hmm. This French clock is the oldest object I own. It's over 200 years old. It's true. Come on. We know that Yoda is way older than 200 years old. Yeah, but Yoda belongs to the universe. Where did this alien come from? It came from a garage sale. And what's cool about it is he's wearing a real Soviet spacesuit. I rent out rooms, I rent out places. I even had a couple who rented space on my roof to put up a tent. It's also a very special place for people, literally from all over the world. Thank you, thank you, Alex. I estimated once, I just sat down and did some math, that over 100,000 people have passed through these doors since I started it. People have been married here. People have been married here, showed its birthday parties. Are you trying to save it? I'm trying to save it for myself and for the rest of the world who have all stayed here. Uh, people can go to GeminiManor.com or on Facebook, Gemini Manor. And I guess you can own a stake in the Gemini Manor. You can come and use the space for your event or your um, film shoot. We just need to save it.